Hi guys, it's Satchel Mano. How's everyone doing? Good, 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 I hope. It's time for another zoologist review. And this time it is the turn of Sacred Scarab. This is one of the ones that really got me excited when I heard about its release. I thought it could be the one that after quite a while of some more quieter, more serene type fragrances, I thought, oh, this might be the zoologist that's gonna make me say, woohoo. Is it? Kinda, yeah. So anyway, let's talk about it. It's been a while since I've done a zoologist review, wow. Anyway, this one is obviously themed on ancient Egypt. The nose behind this one is Sultan Pasha. He is a gentleman that I semi know, you can say that right. Um, I've met him a handful of times. We have run in a similar circle, just at different times. And I think he's the perfect guy to do this. He's known for his kind of attar like blends well not even like his attar blends and his kind of bolder approach he's good at vintagey style things so i think he was the perfect pick to do something based on ancient egypt so yeah i was really excited about this it's another insect you know moth being my favorite zoologist i like the insect type ones i think more than anything else oh and the birds too anyway this one so this one came out uh, last year, I can't remember when exactly I am kind of behind with everything, <laughs> as usual. Uh, you guys know me by now. And let me read you the description and then the notes and then I'll tell you how it smells. I always love the zoologist little description-y things that they do. So it says, the dogged pros prospector strikes gold. Upon discovering a payload rich with nutrients, the scarab returns home. Face down, guided by the sun, it propels the tightly packed dung backwards to a burrow lined with dusky spheres. Underground, it tunnels into it tunnels into the ball to deposit a precious egg. In time, the larva hatches and feeds until it emerges, fully formed and instinctive. Drives it instinct, sorry, drives it down the same dusty trail to repeat the cycle. That's the first part of the description. For a perfume, you would think, oh, okay, but essentially they are dung beetles. Let's not beat around the bush. Then it says, like Egyptians entrusting sacred mummies to tombs for the journey to the next life, a scarab, scarab burying its treasure marks the dawn of a new life. Zoologist sacred scarab captures the mystique of kifi incense, which is, if you don't know, that's a ancient Egyptian incense. I've smelled other perfumes with that type of accord in it before. Uh, a blend of blue lotus, raisins, plums, olibanum, myrrh, and juniper, once bound with wine and burned in ancient rituals, Today, this divine scent guides your spirit on a path to discovery and rebirth. Ooh, it gives you shivers. So the notes, top notes are aldehydes, lemon and civet. Synthetic civet, as always with zoologists, they do not use materials that harm animals, even though that is the entirety of their theme. Heart notes, wine accord, plum accord, blue lotus accord. Then the kefi notes, or I think in this case base notes, are raisins, olibanum, Myrrh, galbanum, cedarwood, juniper, wine, styrax, benzoin, oak moss, labdanum, musk, and amber. Okay, how does it smell? When I saw the note list of this, I about fell off my chair. This is my sort of style. I like resins, I like spices, I like kind of oldy type things. I mean, I like a lot of things, but this one really made me take notice. And I've worn almost half of my 10 mil. It's here, I don't have the bottle, but I have this and I've worn it a lot of times and I've let it dry down. So I feel like I'm ready to tell you about it. So let's go. So let me spray it wet here. I will say the opening or the wet stage is my favorite part of this entire perfume. And the way that it behaves on me is you get to the dry down stage relatively quickly. For me, I feel like there isn't a heart part of this fragrance it's got this really fantastic opening and then you're into how it's going to smell for the most of its wear length that's on me as always try it on yourself so opening i get from this i mean let me tell you about the feeling it's it instantly made me feel like i'm smelling something older and that is sultan pasha's style he is good at creating that vintage feeling i think if it's going to be about something based on ancient egypt it's going to have to be something that feels throwback so you feel like you're dealing with a vintage perfume right from the get-go it's immediately sheepra but then it has ambery warm resinous tones as well but in the opening i get 
little tiny spark of lemon. I can also feel greenery, and I don't mean greenery from oak moss, that comes after. I do get galbanum straight away, so it's a bit more of a smooth greenness. But what everything is resting upon is the, I was gonna say darker, but it's actually not that dark, this perfume. It's, I would call it kind of like a tan brown kind of color, if you're gonna put smell into color. It's got a, a, a brown kind of feeling and it's, you can feel this Chypra structure in there. You can feel the dryness, you can feel the vintage part of it, but you get this really nice little qu quick sparks of greenery and citrus at first, but already what's waiting is revealed immediately. That's what I mean when I say there's not really a heart stage for me. I can already feel the base and the main theme of it already there just waiting to chomp that opening straight away or push that opening down a hill in a ball shape. I like that it, it makes me feel something. I like that it makes me feel, oh, I'm wearing a vintage perfume here. And that is a talent, I think, for a perfumer to create a vintage perfume in this modern day and age. Not all of them can do it, or maybe they don't wanna, but I like that and I feel like it fits the theme perfectly. I want to talk about aldehydes. I feel like aldehydes here are kind of the backbone of the entire perfume and it's the vintage style aldehyde that you find in Chanel number no. 5, but it's not overly done. It's not overly so for me. It's enough to give it a character, but it doesn't overtake. So something to note, depending if you like aldehydes or not. It's so crazy because I sprayed this literally two or three minutes ago and the way it smells when it's drying here is I'm already getting to it. So that's what I mean about the sped up process. So I wanna say that this kind of, for me, spans two genres. At its core, it's a Chypra, but it does have uh, a, enough resins in it to make it feel like an ambery type fragrance. And it, when it dries, for me, it plays with two different textures, okay? So there's definitely a dusty-like feeling with this, which I think also is perfect, because when I think of ancient Egypt, or just Egypt in general, because I have been there twice, I think of dust. I think of sandstorms, I think of dry, arid heat, and that is conveyed very well in this one. So you have that. You have the, the moss in here giving it a dustiness, a dryness, and what I also want to say is, because I'm always going to say some little quip, right? You guys know me by now. Is that the resins in it, uh, the resins in it blanket the dust enough to stop it from being a full-on sandstorm. You know, we're not dealing with dusty old flip-flop. There's enough resins in it to give it warmth, and I really like that. What I will say is, when I first read the note list of this, I said to myself, oh, I really hope it's not too heavy on the wine element. I didn't want this one to be a boozy kind of affair because I, I don't really like wine in perfume. But for me, it's actually gone the other way, where I, do, I don't feel any kind of fruity, raisiny, plummy, winey type feeling at all. And I do wish there was at least some part of that to my nose, but I, I personally don't feel that. I was thinking more along the lines of camel, you know, if you smell camel by zoologist, there is a definite kind of stewed fruit element to it, but this one doesn't. It goes from the lemony kind of green opening to the dustier dry green resinous, but also sheepra type feeling with a brownness. Brownness, just remember that brown, dusty Chypra as opposed to an ultra green Chypra. So that's where we are. Let me talk about the animalic because we're talking about something that has civet in it. We're talking about something that is essentially a dung beetle. We're dealing with poops. So this is where I think Sultan has done a really great job because civet can be a note that can just scare people off in danger, running for the hills. And I think in this one, it is again, perfectly placed. It is just animalic enough to be a hint at the fact that it's an animalic kind of sheepra without being you know like hyrax by a zoologist it's not shouty loud crazy animalic so that is my take on uh, sacred scarab by zoologist I almost said hyrax then already done that one go watch it if you like 
it is like a zoom fast forward from the opening to the dry down, but that's okay. That's not all perfumes are meant to behave the same way. That's why we have linear perfumes in this world. But yeah, I, I've really enjoyed wearing this. There's definitely a time and place for it. I think it is one of the more edgier releases from Zoologist, but still not being way out there. It's not like a T-Rex or a Moth or a Hyrax. I'll go back to the Hyrax again. In terms of uh, strength and projection, on me it is uh, middle of the road in terms of projection. It's something I can always feel and no one when I've worn it has said anything about it to me and I've worn this quite a few times but then you never know that could just be people not saying things so it's really hard to judge. Longevity is really good I get eight nine ten hours out of it and once you're into that base stage that the mossy the mossy kind of dry dusty with some nice soft resins stage that sticks around for a long 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 time and uh I'm really glad. I think an ancient Egypt perfume is such a great theme and I think Sultan did a really good job on this one. So well done Sultan and Victor too. Anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. I'm Archman Mano, trying to make the world smell better one video at a time. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.